hello guys welcome to my channel in this video we'll be discussing Yole Doche, his open apology he tendered to his first wife me Edoche, and her response to the apology that her husband tendered to her but quickly guys this is your first time on my channel please do consider subscribing if you haven't already also like share and comment on this video and if you're a returning member of my channel thank you for stopping by again for those who do not know the backstory yole doche was married to me doche for 16 to 17 years i think it was and they had four beautiful kids three boys and a girl and then news came out that um Yoledoche was keeping a side chick was basically having an affair outside and before the news could be revealed by anyone else Yoledoche came out by himself to confess to it that not only he, not only was he having a side chick he actually had a son a child by this lady and that he was progressing his affair with her into marriage he was planning to marry her it was touching to a whole lot of people and they saw it like an insult basically because he didn't actually tell his wife anything the same way everyone else found out online when he posted it on his Instagram page that he had impregnated someone and they had a child together. That's how his wife found out. She found out online that her husband has another child. And I think that's where what increased the anger for her or the disrespect. People saw it as a slight on the wife. You live with this woman, you have stayed with her for a long time. Why wouldn't you be able to just speak with her in the house? Like, okay, this is what I did, I'm sorry, whatever, whatever, whatever. Not that he didn't even go that route. He was quite proud of what he did and even went ahead to marry the other lady, Judy Austin. Fellow actress, um, he's an actor, she's an actress. He married her as his second wife. And ever since they found one way or the other to throw it in May's face. And May didn't throw any punches. She didn't fight with her husband publicly or even privately for that matter. She only just has stood on one word ever since. And that is that she doesn't, her beliefs does not entertain or tolerate polygamy. So she would not be stuck in a polygamous home. And that's what she has always stood by. That is, it's becoming like a, a song for her now. It's what she always repeats. So a few days ago, your leadership came online to post an apology to the wife. And it goes like this. To my dear wife, Queen May Yoli Doche, I acknowledge that I hurt you deeply and I've apologized to you countless times. I take the blame for my actions. I agree with you that polygamy shouldn't be forced on anyone. You never bargained for it from the beginning, neither did I. But I guess life happens. You already know the whole story. I didn't do it to disrespect you. I didn't do it to replace you, no, because I do not love you anymore. No. I have always loved you and always will. I have been a good husband and a wonderful father. I have supported all your hustle from day one. I have been sure. I have been an exceptional father to our children to date, making sure they lack nothing and always dear for everyone. Out of 100, I have done 99 things right. Hating me because of one thing isn't the best. Nobody is perfect. I am not you. I am not. You are not. Nobody is except God. I assure you that nobody is trying to take your place. I have apologized to you countless times sincerely from my heart. I am sorry. I have always loved you and always will. 
But to all one Yoma, we can live peacefully and happily. When Yoledoche posted this apology, it was welcomed because it is the first time I think he has sincerely come out to apologize to the wife for his mishap. And while a lot of people applauded the apology, there were still questions. The first question is, why now? What is going on? Because just a couple of days before this apology, he posted he was a proud polygamist and that God directed him to go into polygamy. So if you are accepting it with your full chest, why are you apologizing for the very same deed? That's the first, that's the first question. The second one is, you're coming out and you're saying you have been an excellent father and a very good husband. You've been good in 99 things and you failed only one. It seems like you're blowing your own trumpet in within the same apology. If you don't take care of your kids, am I going to come do it for you? If you're not there for your kids, is it me that will come and do it for you? And then in within the same apology, he said to her that she is not, he is not perfect, and she is not perfect either. I don't understand. How does that fit into the apology you're given? Are you here to tell her her shortcomings? So are you here to apologize for what you did to her and you want her to move on from? We'll dwell on it, but putting all this apology, all these points within the apology aside, we're like, okay, he apologized, he apologized. Let's just stick with that. I'm wrong with it. Just take that. And then May decided to respond to her husband's apology. And this is what she, she said. She said, I strongly believe that mistakes are a major part of human existence. It is our response to these errors that count. In other words, forgiveness is one thing and righting the wrong is another. Forgiveness is the highest, most beautiful form of love for me. There is no love without forgiveness and there is no forgiveness without love. Hence, my ability to forgive the mistakes of the past, present, and future with respect to the issue on ground is in the interest of my mental health and peace. I decided to stick to love. Hate is too great a burden to bear. I am still very much incapable of hating anyone, let alone the father of my children. The fact remains that anyone who chooses to practice polygamy but can't be impelled, anyone can choose to practice polygamy but can't be impelled to accept what was never bargained for. To reaffirm my stand, I will not be cajoled into accepting polygamy, which goes against my beliefs, faith, and values. I will not be numbered in a home that we started building with love, faith, tears, hope, and prayers in the Catholic church, in the Catholic marriage of 18 years, following a long-term premarital relationship. This is also a passionate plea to put an end to the constant show on the social media space where our kids are growing into unless it is absolutely necessary. Let's prevent our lovely children from all the incessant drama series that might take a toll on them directly or indirectly amongst their peers. May God in his infinite mercy and compassion guide us all in the right direction. Merry Christmas in advance, everyone. What I gathered from this response that may give to her husband is this she's no longer angry with him she's not even pained she has forgiven him and moved on from it but she is sticking to her original point which is 
she doesn't want to be in a polygamous home. She won't be numbered in a home that she started building 18 years ago. When she came into this marriage, there was never any talk, any prospect, any belief that there would be another woman someday. And now she's been thrown into that loop. Another woman has been thrown into their midst. So you can see where she's coming from. And I also understand why she, at the end of her response, said they should stop the incessant drama. She's referring to Yole Doche because he's everywhere. He's basically become, I don't know, he's not the same person he used to be. He just comes online and says all sorts of rubbish, does all sorts of rubbish. He posts his new wife nonstop. He's always talking about her. They are just doing all sorts of crap online. So I understand why she put that there, that everything he's doing, their kids are going to see and it's going to hurt them in the long run, directly or indirectly. Somehow I feel like this is not, this won't be the end. I don't know your, your Medoche is the quiet one. For her to come out and speak, there must have been a lot of people in her ear going, oh, you have to respond. You have to let him know your stand. You have to respond. But your Medoche, on the other hand, can't wait to come online. So somehow I know this is not the end of this. He's going to come back and post something. That's him. That's the way he performs. That's his usual way of doing things. If there's any other update on these guys, I'll be sure to bring it back to you. But for this particular video, I'm going to draw it to a close now. And until I see you guys again, stay blessed. Bye.